The ground's really squeaky. <laughs> Hey guys. A couple of weeks ago, my basement flooded. We had a few inches of water in all the rooms, had to rip up all our carpet. It was a mess. As you may know, my grow tent is down in our basement. Unfortunately, it has lapped up a bunch of water. So even though we do have the water out of our basement and it is dried out now, we're worried that there might be like a lot of moisture underneath the grow tent. Reason number one, why spur of the moment today, I decided to take everything out of the grow tent, clean it down, move the tent itself to let it dry out so that we don't end up with like mold anywhere or anything. And I'm kind of taking this as an opportunity to reconfigure my setup in here. It's been pretty good. But I just, I don't know, I want to get all of my propagation boxes moved down here into the grow tent and kind of consolidate everything into one space. So it's a little bit easier to, I don't know, be in or see everything that I have going on in one place. For me, that really, really helps like keep track of everything and stay on top of all of these thousands of plants I have. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And it is really hot. I am still pregnant, 37 weeks, 37 plus weeks now. So that is why I am out of breath. Also, this is gonna be a lot of hard work. So basically my game plan is just to get everything moved out of the grow tent into my like general basement area, which just so you know, is a mess right now because we had to move all of our crap around as we were drying out the floor. It was a fun time, really stressful few days there. I'm going to be moving all the plants out, all the shelves out, I'm gonna clean I'm going to wipe down all of my shelves, spray them off, and then also all of my boot trays need a good clean, so I'm gonna do that as well. And then move everything back in, and I thought we could do a video. So yeah, if you have any plant chores to do, then maybe this would be a good one. Or do your dishes slash fold laundry. That's what I do when I watch videos. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Okay, I'll show you everything. I'll show you what we kind of have going on right now. Okay, so we're just standing right outside of the tent. And this is what we have going on. I will say I did start doing this and then I was like, maybe I should do a video since this is kind of something taking apart the grow tent to like deep clean, I feel is kind of important at least like twice a year and we're going into winter, new baby on the way. Um, so I'm taking this as the opportunity to really, you know, clean it all. Anyway, I didn't have any plants on this side so it was really easy to get that out. It's just out on the lawn, I sprayed it down and now we are gonna, you know, take care of this mess. It's not too bad. There is just kind of a lot of leaf spillage and a problem I'm struggling with right now. Let me know if any of you guys have this problem, but my Hoyas are blooming like so much. Like this one you can see, well, there's some, they've dropped off by now. Oh, there's a little Spidey. Can you see him? Hang on, I'll show you a little closer. Can you see that little guy? Thank you for all the work you're doing in this grow tent. I'm going to let you stay. I mean, here you can see one, two, three, four peduncles. Flowers are just like falling everywhere. There's kind of like all of these small little things on the floor down here are Hoya blooms because I just like can't get them to stop blooming. It's kind of frustrating. I try to keep up on cutting them, but as much as I love the blooms, it's like really exciting. They are also very, very messy. So just keep that in mind. If you know you are looking to get into Hoyas and you're getting them to bloom. Okay, let's move stuff, but it's kind of hot. I need to pull my hair back because I'm out of shape. <laughs> I'm not made for this at the moment. Get to my big belly. It's big. It's big. I'm large and in charge. Okay. <laughs> Look at this Burl Marks fan or Burl Marks, philodendron Burl Marks. It is just so weird. I need to chop it um, and let it like regrow because something weird's going on here. I don't know what it is. I'm going to set this on the chair here so it doesn't get broked. A problem I foresee is a lot of these plants are like tangled everywhere, um, like tangled into each other and around, like, I don't know if you'll be able to see, I'll insert a close up of it, but um, my Hoyas are like growing up the shelves, so I'm gonna have to untangle those. It's just kind of a mess, honestly, a mess. <gasps> oh, like see that, see that? That was a close one. 
look at my fry deck. Um, come back, huh? Treated it for thrips, cut it all the way back. It was a little nub, if you remember. Let me know if you remember that. It was a while ago, but it is now growing back, so I'm really excited. Hopefully it does better this time. Like this pubic calyx grows all the way up here and then over here. So that's annoying. Let's see if we can get that untangled. Here goes nothing. And then the aerial roots are like everywhere. Those belong over there. Stay in your space, please. Stay in your space. There we go. Wait, no, we don't. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Not that bad at all. Ooh, but it is growing up here. Oh, whoops, I had to break it. It's okay. Yay, got it. I have I have about half the plants moved out and I'm already <laughs> hitting a wall. <laughs> Mostly because it's so humid in here. I'll show you where we're at. Here's the shelves. I'm sorry for my squeaky shoes. The floor is very wet. This is a task over here. They're mostly big plants, so it's not a big deal. It's mostly these like little ones that are kind of sucking to move. It isn't that bad. I'm just tired. Okay, so here's all the plants out here now. All of these and still a ways to go. I've got this. I've got this, right? I've got this. I can do this. I can do this. Most of the plants are moved out. I still have kind of a lot of small ones. I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed, not overwhelmed. Well, kind of overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah, overwhelmed. That's my middle name, I, I swear. Um, just because I don't know how I'm going to fit all my propagation boxes and all these plants back in here. So I think I need to come up with a game plan, but I'm racking my mind as I'm moving these because there's so many more in here than I thought there were. I just don't know what I'm going to do with everything to make it all fit. Any ideas, any ideas? Cause I got nothing. We'll see what I come up with though. The plants are out. Okay, so now you can really see like the extent of the mess I need to clean and like truly how many Hoya blooms have fallen off of my plants and just like made a mess. And I do try to trim the peduncles off my Hoyas at this point, unless it's a Hoya that like I haven't had bloom yet. Once they bloom, it seems like it's impossible <laughs> to get them to stop and they'll just like continuously bloom and bloom and make everything messier and messier. You can really see the situation now, especially on this side. It's a mess, so okay, I'm gonna gather up all the trays, stack them up and take them out into my backyard so that I can spray them off really well. Fortunately, in all this mess, we only had two casualties. Unfortunately, one of them is a Monstera dubia and then a uh, lemon lime maranta. These are just plants that got buried behind other plants when it's messy like this It's just so hard to keep track of them. That's why I need to come up with a better Organizational method in here. But that's okay I feel pretty good about there only being the two casualties even though the the dubia hurts. I'll be honest It really really hurts now. I I totally forgot. I'm gonna have to like undo the lights um, so that I can take the things out move them out of here so that I can take this tray thing outside to spray it off because it does have some, like I said, fallen leaves, Hoya bloom, sap from the Hoyas, just, I don't know, overall moisture. The outside of this has definitely taken in a lot of water. So it's probably, oh, like the floor is all wet. It wasn't like this before. And like there's moisture between the wall. So this definitely needs dry, this sucks. So I guess the game plan, oh my gosh, there's a lot of water at the bottom. Yeah, What? A lot of water. Did it? Yeah. We should try and slide the whole thing as far forward as we can and then tip up the back and then that'll get the concrete dried out underneath it and then slide it as far back to the wall as we can. You know what I mean? And tip it back. Oh, it's not that bad. No, it's actually not. It's not as bad as it looks like. It looks like my tent absorbed all of it. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look bad, honestly. Oh, probably not, it like probably wouldn't cause mold, huh? Yeah, I mean, it seems like the tent just sucked it all up. So that's not that bad then. 
could be worse. Now I have all my trays out here. They're so messy. I'm gonna spray it all off and then these silver things, oh, I need to fix it. The silver things are like the, they go over the bottom of the tent so that you can more easily like clean out the bottom. So yeah, they just need a really good spray and then they kind of need to dry out because like I said, our basement flooded, which is why I'm doing this whole thing anyway. The bottom of it like absorbed a whole bunch of water. These also absorbed water from the bottom absorbing waters. They kind of need to dry out in the sun for as long as possible while the actual tent dries. So that's what we're doing. Okay, let's spray these bad boys. So much later in the day, we had to lift up the sides of the tent. Like we had to prop them up to put a fan under them to dry out the bottom. Everything's pretty much dried, which is nice, but it's so late and I'm just so tired and I'm just feeling like super, you guys, I freaking hate how much, how like down I am lately in all my videos, but I'm not gonna get into it right now. I'm just like kind of overwhelmed. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do, it's, it's getting late, I'm really tired. So I'm just gonna move everything in here tonight for now and then go to bed and then try and like update you tomorrow. Um, yeah. Actually, it's been a week. <laughs> it's been a week since we started this project. The room is now mostly empty. I'm gonna show you what the propagation room looks like at this point and then I'll go show you the grow tent, um, the state we're at right now. Come a long way. Here's the room. I mean, obviously there's still some stuff that needs moved. I actually think I'm gonna leave this Ikea table in here because this will become the boys' playroom. Feels like <laughs> I'm moving into a new house or something. <laughs> but yeah, that's where we're at up here. These two boxes, this box and those plants on the yellow tote are shop plants that we've sold this week that I'm going to package today. And then the rest of these are just like supplies and potting stuff and small little propagation boxes that I need to move down to the grow tent still. But I just do not have the energy today. I have been totally out of energy. I'm like going on 39 weeks now. So moving anything is a lot at this point. <laughs> Heck, moving myself is a lot at this point. So let's go downstairs and I will show you the grow tent. All right, so there she is. Let's peek inside, little sneak peek. I'm so excited. So, oh, it's humid again, finally. So my dumb bum forgot to film us adding the lights in, unfortunately, but you saw that in my last grow tent video and like it's pretty self-explanatory. We just zip tie them to wherever we want them and string them together. That's that, but okay, let me show you what we have going on. We have one, two, we have four shelves that are mostly full of just like plants on the little cafeteria trays. I've talked about a lot on my channel. These things have been a lifesaver. Um, lots of propagations, most of my mother plants. And on each shelf, we have a light, you know, zip tied to the bottom of it as well as on the top, cords everywhere. We haven't hooked these ones up yet because it's been kind of a pain, but we will get to that at some point. Lots of plants. Here we have some smaller prop boxes doing that thing also with lights on each shelf. And then if you turn around, um, we have our propagation boxes. So what we have going on here are of course boxes. We have lights up above. And then also we zip tied them. I mean, you can see on this one because they're not turned on. We zip tied two lights onto each of these like corner posts so that they would, you know, get pretty even light like from both directions. So much cleaner. I mean, obviously we've had leaf drop and stuff already as we've been moving things around and like moving plants to add the lights and stuff. Because you guys, we've been dumb from start to finish on this whole thing. We didn't do it very strategically. We moved all the plants back into here on their trays before we put the lights in. So we had to jostle the plants around to get the zip ties in to be able to slide the lights in so that they would stay up. And by we, I mean Ryan, and he's not the most careful lad. Yeah, it's a little bit messy, but I can just, you know, get my little vacuum and vacuum it up, but I'm so happy. Yay! A whole new world. Well, I'm getting dizzy. I'm getting dizzy. Oh! 
that's the setup and I'm extremely happy with it. It's going to be so much better to have everything all condensed like this. And of course I'm going to make changes, probably small changes here and there along the way. But for the most part, I'm very, very happy with the setup. I will have everything, the grow lights I use, these shelves, the grow tent, anything else, like pretty much anything I use will be linked down in the description box. If you want to do this kind of setup for yourself, it'll all be down there. I really like everything we use, so no complaints here. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Any comments, concerns, let me know and I'll be reading through the comments. Okay, I hope you like it and found this video helpful slash entertaining or something. But that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Okay. <sighs> I love it. I love it. Okay, bye. That's the end of the video for real, bye.